Hello, got a simple order of operations problem here involving multiple operations. We have multiplication, subtraction, division, addition. It's 10 times 10 minus 10 divided by 10 plus 10. So if you'd like to pause the video and think about it, um, you may already know the answer to this, but uh, we can uh, pause the video and uh, we'll come back and work it out. All right, so first of all, remember the order of operations convention. That's something that, uh, at least in North America, everybody learns um, in elementary school. I'd say uh, at least by the fifth grade, if not sooner, depending on uh, what school. Uh, but um, the order of operations consists of, for number one, parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division left to right, and then addition and subtraction left to right. So there's just uh, the four steps. Now, why is there an order of operations convention? Well, the real reason is the order of operations convention provides uh, universal consistency uh, so that everybody gets the same answer uh, regardless of where they're from. So regardless of what language you speak, what country you're from, um, you all get the same answer. So it's not part of a new world order. Um, the order of operations actually uh, dates back to... Uh, the earliest books on algebra from about the 16th century. And uh, so you can look up some of the common acronyms used. Um, a lot of people may be familiar with acronyms such as uh, PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, and BIDMAS. P PEMDAS is uh, more generally used in North America. BODMAS comes from the UK, Europe. Uh, there's also BEDMAS and BIDMAS. But all four of those um, represent the exact same order of operations that I described earlier. It's still parentheses. You, you may refer to parentheses as brackets. You might think of exponents as orders and bodmas. Uh, and then the M and the D confuses people. Um, it doesn't mean multiplication before division or division before multiplication. Actually, multiplication and division have the same precedence. Um, in German, it's a uh, punkt vor Strich, which... I believe translates to point before a line, but um, that's another uh, common term used uh, for the same same order of operations. And just remember that parentheses are just grouping symbols, exponents are just shorthand for repeated multiplication, and multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. And division is equivalent to multiplication by a reciprocal, and subtraction is just the addition of a negative number. So it makes perfect sense why, if you have parentheses, you want to pay attention to what's inside of those first. If you have exponents, you're going to do those before, you're going to solve those before multiplication or division. Uh, and of course, multiplication and division have equal precedence because division is the same thing as multiplication. You're just multiplying by a reciprocal. And again, we said subtraction is the addition of a negative number. So addition and subtraction also have equal precedence. One, one is not solved before the other. <clears throat> so here you have 10 times 10. First of all, we have multiplication first uh, going left to right. You, you just solve the multiplication to division going left to right. So we have 10 times 10, which is 100. Uh, then minus 10 divided by 10. Well, 10 divided by 10 is just 1. But remember, it's 100 minus 1. And then we just have this plus 10 sitting out here. So it's 10 minus 1 plus 10. And what does that equal? Well, 100 minus 1 is 99. So we have 99 plus 10 equals 109. So the, the only correct answer is 109, 109. Now, the common mistake, some a lot of people have uh, answered this online with an answer of 89 which is incorrect. They do everything correct, and they get down to this 100 minus 1 plus 10, and for some reason they're saying this is 89, which is which is completely false. There is a difference between 100 minus 1 plus 10 and 100 minus the quantity 1 plus 10 inside of parentheses. This one down here does equal 89, but there's a big difference between putting the parentheses around the 1 plus 10 and not having parentheses. 100 subtraction and addition are solved. Uh, they're equal precedence, and they're just solved left to right. So you, here you're doing the, the subtraction first and then the addition, uh, only because the subtraction is to the left. 
the addition is here. And it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I could go 1 plus 10 is 11, right? 100 minus 11 is still, um, I'm sorry, no, that's not correct either. <laughs> So, because this is minus 1, it's actually minus 1 plus 10 is 9. So, I confused myself there. It's 100 plus 9 would be 109. Remember, this is not 1 plus 10. It is minus 1 plus 10, which is 9. So, you could do these in any order. It doesn't matter. The only correct answer is a 109. Uh, another common mistake, some people will answer this is 19. And that's also wrong. That answer ignores the order of operations and you'd have to be doing these uh, uh, operations out of order. So um, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, you know, enter this in a uh, cell phone calculator, you're gonna get the correct answer of 109. A scientific calculator, you're gonna get 109. Now you might use a cheap dollar store calculator or the Windows standard mode uh, calculator on a Windows computer. If you use standard mode, you're gonna get the wrong answer uh, because that calculator uses um, what's called immediate execution mode. So you need to be sure that you're using a scientific calculator or cell phone calculator, which already understands order of operations. Um, if you are using one of the simpler calculators, and this is how it used to work in the old days when, you know, before we had the memory, uh, the ability to do order of operations through the cheap calculators, uh, it was just assumed that you understood the order of operations. So. Again, this isn't new. This has uh, been around forever. Uh, I can show you 1950s textbooks uh, and older that um, have the order of operations. So uh, again, I hope this has been helpful. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see everybody in the next video.